Most of what you do on a daily basis is out of habit. The way that you sleep, wake up, get out of bed, brush your teeth, the way that you eat, when you eat, where you eat. The reason we struggle to make lasting changes, first, we focus on behavior rather than the underlying reason for that behavior. This is akin to a doctor looking at your symptoms, all the while ignoring the cause for the, under, the, the, the real problem underlying the symptoms. And the second reason is this. We don't really believe that we can change. Well, I hope today's message will convince you, if you're not already convinced, that lasting change is possible. Lasting change, change in our thinking, our attitude, our behavior... And transformation of our character begins by fully embracing our identity in Christ. This means seeing ourselves the way God sees us. Habits become lifelong when they are part of your identity. True behavior change is identity change. In Christ, your identity is what God says it is. I am marked by God. I am alive in Christ. I am secure in Christ. I am a friend of God. I am free. And I am a citizen of heaven. Just think about how unique you are. There's no one just like you. Knowing whose you are is the best source of motivation for making lasting change. No matter how motivated we are, motivation without power leads to frustration. In Philippians 2.13, it says, For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. The key to lasting change is allowing God to transform you into a new person by allowing God to change the way you think. This is the bottom line. True and lasting change does not come from self-driven do your best behavior modification. You change by God empowered spiritual transformation, which happens when you embrace your true identity in Christ. Lasting change will happen when you allow God to change the way you think. When you find yourself falling back into a bad habit, cross your arms and say, God's grace is my power to change. Okay. You sit down after church today, this afternoon, to get a little quiet time. I want you to think to yourself, what's one good habit that I want to cultivate, that I feel led by God to cultivate? And second, think about a bad habit that you want to break. That's how I want to close this message today, is I want you to remember to cross your arms and remind yourself you are not powerless God's grace is the power you need to change. Pray with me, guys. Let's close. Lord, we want to thank you for this uh, beautiful day.